My name is Alan Wadsworth. I'm the Market Development Manager for this product line for the Americas region. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about our new B1506A Power Device Analyzer for Circuit Design. So as you can see here, this product has been specifically designed for the circuit designer who wants to test their products and verify the performance of those products that they're going to be using in their power circuits. As you can clearly see here, we have a very familiar datasheet-like software interface for this product allowing you to go in and very easily select which tests you want to run as well as very easily change any parameter here to match the exact parameters that you're using in your circuit design. This is extremely useful because in many cases if you actually look at a data sheet you only get typical parameters whereas of course for a power circuit designer they want to know exactly how that product is going to be behaving in their circuit. So of course they want to be able to go in and, and optimize everything. In addition, we have a companion test fixture over here, as you can see, that also has been simplified. We actually have a special fixture here for the most common three-pin type devices that you use. Uh, we also, of course, have universal adopters if you want to create your own sockets. And so it's very simple, very safe. You simply close the lid of the test fixture here, creating a safe interlock. And then once I've set everything up here, I can just go in and press start. And of course, it's first going to make sure that I have everything hooked up properly. Then I click on OK. And the instrument's going to go ahead and start measuring all the parameters for the devices that I've specified. So you can see here it's measuring the various parameters, recording the data. In the lower part here, if there's a graphical test going on, it'll show you the graph. And it can also specify certain parameters also to be displayed. So as we start getting to those, you'll see that we can actually go in and look at the real-time graphs occurring, and I can actually see the output characteristics of my uh, device as it's being tested. So actually now we're going in and testing the capacitance parameters of the device. So again, one very unique thing about this is that you can actually measure many different parameters, current voltage and capacitance voltage parameters, without actually having to change anything, any connections on the test fixture at all. You can go from high voltage to high current, to even very low current levels of measurement, and there's actually a switching matrix built into the test fixture box that takes care of all the connections for you. So again, very nice because it is completely automated, and you really don't have to know a lot about the test itself, the test theory, in order to make it. And again, for a circuit designer who doesn't want to have to become a test expert, this is an extremely attractive product because, again, it gives you the information you need without a lot of effort or a lot of work on your part. So as you can see, it also shows you the measurement in progress. Right now we're doing a collector to emitter voltage versus gate to emitter voltage measurement, which, of course, takes a little bit of time to complete. But again, you can see the progress down here going on in the lower graph. Okay, that one's done. Uh, fueling diode forward characteristics, measuring that. And now we're doing the various types of capacitance. So we're doing, uh, it's actually measuring CISS, COSS, and C CRES, yeah. And once again, this almost is, makes it look trivial, but actually doing these capacitance measurements here uh, without having to change any connections uh, physically is actually very uh, impressive because it's not such an easy thing to do. And again, we can measure capacitance up to 3,000 volts of bias, and we can also actually measure gate charge up to 3,000 volts of bias. So you can see again the progress going on down here for the various capacitance measurements in the lower corner. Okay, and now the only time I actually have to change a connection physically is when I do a gate charge measurement. So now I have to go over here, remove this test fixture, and insert the gate charge fixture. And of 
course, insert my device into the socket. Now I click on OK. And now the device, we're going ahead and measuring gate charge. So you can see here the gate charge measurements being plotted. So here we have gate to emitter voltage on this axis and gate charge plotted on the x axis. Print, print plot. Hmm? Print, uh, print plot. Print? Yeah. Here? Oh, sorry. So if you hit the print button, you can actually also get a very nice summary sheet showing all the different parameters of your device. So I think you can see that this product is extremely useful for the circuit designer and it can characterize completely a three-terminal MOSFET. So anyway, thank you very much for your kind attention.